بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صباح الخير This is the second lecture in gastrointestinal physiology As we talked for last time in our talk regarding the motility of the GIT system starting from swallowing then osseal peristalsis gastric motility and intestinal motility and at the last time when talk about defecation we talk about the process of defecation and we reach this slide in gastrointestinal peptides as we know the gastrointestinal peptides it's important for us regarding the secretions of the GIT system secretions either to be hormones or paracrines or neurocrines or enzymes as we talked last time the most important hormones in gastrointestinal physiology is gastrin cholecystokinin secretin gastric inhibitory polypeptide gastrin as we said last time it is secreted from the stomach we have two types of gastrin we should consider gastric gastrin secreted from antral g cell from the antrum of the stomach also we have intestinal or from the duodenum duodenal g cells that secrete also gastrin they are different in the sequence of amino acids the gastrin that secreted from the stomach is 17 amino acids while the duodenal gastrin hormone is 34 amino acid sequence both of them are or it have the same functions regarding HCL secretion stimulation and pepsinogen secretion cholecystokinin and secretin they are the main hormones secreted from the duodenum and the jejunum and they have main role in intestinal phase of gastric secretion we talked last time about gastric secretion we said that we have cephalic phase gastric phase and intestinal phase the cephalic phase that's mean before the meal reaching the stomach gastric phase that's mean the stomach have the food so will be stimulated by presence of the food inside the stomach the intestinal phase that's mean when there is a process of squirting of the digested or the semi-digested chymes coming from the stomach to the duodenum it stimulates the duodenum to have to have its uh, secretions and main thing to understand is the cephalic phase the main rule is to stimulate the gastric secretion before reaching the food the stomach and will be okay by smelling the food sighting the food if you see the food thinking about the food or even testing the food but in all of them nothing reaching the stomach the gastric phase of gastric secretion that's mean when the 
food reaching the stomach. While the intestinal phase, that's meaning, it is mainly for inhibitory of gastric secretion and gastric motility by its main secretion.